In my view, climate change is a real strategic issue, also for the built environment and the real estate sector. And it's great to see so many companies engaging with climate change, but I think far too often it's still being put into the environmental bracket. So it's sort of related to how much do you recycle, how much do you reduce your own carbon footprint, which is no doubt very important. But it is for the whole sector a real strategic question. And I think one point that really sort of highlights that is how we actually deal with creating new risks. And, you know, it matters where and how we build um, because that it will be impacted by climate change. So that's a really important point to, to recognize. The sector, in particular, you know, some very active companies in the sector, they've been embracing this question of, you know, what is our own footprint? And they have reflected on this in their own practice and engaging with suppliers, and um, also then choosing how that might relate to their investment decisions. But I think that's the point where this is still a difficult topic to translate. I mean, if you put yourself into the shoes of an investment um, manager who needs to decide about allocating portfolios, you know, at, at what point are you then able to use climate models in that decision process? I think this is changing and more and more companies are using this information. They look at scenarios, they try and come up with a view on where we're heading. But I think it's not really done um, you know, broad enough or more, you know, it needs to be actually incorporated. When you take climate change, there are sort of two big dimensions. One is what do we do about, you know, the causes and that's the mitigation side, that's the carbon footprint. And that is hugely important because unfortunately, although we know um, what the issues are, we're not doing enough and we, that is basically the world. But that includes obviously also the, the built environment responsible for around one third of global emissions. But that's one side of the story. Um, the other side is, is adaptation and being prepared for climate change because this is not just a distinct, a distant threat in the future. This is already a reality in some places around the world. And we, we see changes in weather, weather patterns, we see heat waves, we see floods. So the question is, what can we do to become more resilient? And this is kind of where, you know, there's a huge opportunity um, to act now while we still can, while we still can design, um, for example, buildings where we can design them with a future climate in view rather than waiting for you know, the next wave of, of destruction, if you like, and then having very costly rebuilt and, and, and be basically do it then. So this is this question of, are we enough, you know, are we a acting proactively? And you know, I think the answer is we are not, but we, we need to because this, we are on a very unsustainable pathway there.